Welcome back to Jim's Jeeps. Today we're going to be looking at how you can test an engine using two different devices that I have in front of me here. One's a compression test set, and the other one's a leak down test. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to do it. So a lot of people wonder how you could test an engine to see how the rings are doing, how the valves are doing, uh, if you have a head gasket issue. And there are two different tests here that you can perform on an engine while it's still in the car and uh, give you some sense of where to start looking for issues. This first test on the left here is a, called a compression test, compression test set. Um, basically you screw this in the part, spark plug hole, um, disconnect the fuel source to your engine and crank it about six or eight times and see what kind of value we get from an overall compression health of the engine which will show up on the gauge. And the second one is a little bit more dynamic. It's called a leak down test and to do the leak down test you put the, the piston that you're testing or the cylinder that you're testing on top dead center for that pist uh, cylinder and then uh, set the first gauge to 100 pounds of pressure and then see what percentage of compressed air is flowing past the cylinder and that will show you if you have an open valve or perhaps a, a, a bad set of rings or blown head gasket or something like that. So let's go ahead and set up and we'll start testing this engine on my 89YJ here with the compression test set. We'll do that set first and then we'll come back and do the leak down test on all six cylinders and we'll just kind of see how we are. Now this is a newly rebuilt engine. Um, we should get great values, but I'll show you how it's done. Uh, and it's the same for any engine, not just, a, not just a Jeep engine even. So, bring you back as soon as we get the first compression set up on the first cylinder. Okay, so we have the adapter in spark plug hole number one. Uh, it's just in there finger tight. We have the gauge it is attached to the adapter. And now we're going to crank the engine and see where we are with compression. And you want to crank the engine about six to eight times over and then read your value. One thing I forgot is to take the air cleaner off the throttle body here because we do want to open the throttle blades, throttle body blades to allow air free flow into the intake manifold. Let's see if we can put something here to hold the throttle open. And I think I have a leak in the gauge, but we were up around 150. It's going down to 120 now. When the air comes out of the cylinder on the compression stroke, uh, it stays in this upper tube. There's a, a, a Schrader valve in the line, which I think my Schrader valve is actually leaking. Okay, now we'll test cylinder number six, the last one in the series. Uh, we've been getting about 148, 150 on every cylinder. Let's see how this one goes. I 
all these cylinders check out just fine. Let's get moving on the leak down test, see how we're doing there. The test is very similar. There's an adapter hose that goes into this car plug hole. Okay, so we're metering 100 PSI into the cylinder. That's the right gauge, or the left gauge. And the right gauge is showing 89, 90% uh, on, uh, on the flow rate through the cylinder with everything closed. Uh, that's about right. Um, you're going to obviously lose some between the ring gaps and so forth. And uh, I would say anything less than 85 or 80 is probably starting to be questionable. So we're in good shape here. And uh, the compression was 150. And uh, we're getting a flow rate at 100 PSI. We're getting an effective rate of about 90%. So that's good. And uh, that's how you do a flow test or a leak down test. And that'll show you the condition of your valves, how the valves are seating, how the rings are, and possibly if you have a blown head gasket. Um, you will hear a little bit of air coming out. Um, it's probably going down through the rings into the crankcase. Totally normal there. If you hear hissing coming out the intake manifold or somewhere else or the uh, if you take the cap off the top here and you hear hissing coming out of there you probably have a leaky valve um, it's important to test each cylinder at top dead center for that cylinder uh, one obviously is on the timing mark on the appropriate timing mark remember 180 degrees out um, the, the tick mark goes by twice for one complete cycle of the cylinder uh, make sure you're on the compression stroke can, before you put the adapter in, you can put your thumb over the spark plug hole and see that you're coming up on the compression stroke. And uh, that's how that's done. And so I'm going to do the other flow test or the leak down test on the other cylinders here. And uh, I just wanted to bring you this quick video today to uh, give you an example of what a compression test is and how to do it and what a leak down test is and kind of how to do it. Uh, it's not that hard, very valuable test. I'll show you the condition of your particular cylinders one by one. Um, it's a great diagnostic tool. So thanks for joining us today on Jim's Jeeps. If this vi video is valuable to you, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video.